fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday, the 17th of August, 2023. I hope you are keeping well and uh, enjoying life. It's another work-free day for me today. Oh dear, dearth of work. It's going to be not a nightmare when my f car finally comes back and I have to pay the bill on that too. Oh dear, oh dear. Never mind. Well, let's not worry about that. We can't worry about financial things. Uh, can't let those get us down, can we? We have to consider much more important things like our health and our enjoyment of life. Um, when I was a kid uh, growing up in London, the, one of the most enjoyable things to me was going to the museums, which was basically every weekend. The museums were free when I was growing up. And uh, London has just the greatest museums in the world. I, I know there's the Hermitage and, and, you know, of course, a few others around the world that could that might argue against that. But really, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, London has just some incredible museums. And uh, I, I always remember just, as I say, almost every weekend and summer holidays and stuff like that. Even now when people are going to London and they ask me what's the best thing, I always say the parks and museums, as far as I remember, uh, I'm not sure about the pubs. <laughs> I'm not sure I can recommend them uh, or not. Um, but uh, I mention this today because I just notice that in the uh, Guardian there is a report that the British Museum has found a pilferer amongst its staff. Somebody having it away with the uh, collection bit by bit, <laughs> small pieces. But I thought this was quite ironic because, uh, of course, now that I understand much more than I did when I was seven or eight years old, I know that far, uh, by far and away, the uh, largest amount of um, stuff in the British Museum was stolen from other countries during Britain's <laughs> empirical adventures. So it's a bit like... Uh, the thief being stolen, having having his swag nicked from somebody else, don't you think? Uh, of course, when I was a kid, I didn't, uh, as I said, I didn't appreciate, uh, had no idea of that fact. I think nowadays um, it's m m probably more well known by kids uh, just how much uh, was, how much of the collection was stolen from other countries. Um, not that they're getting it back, of course, <laughs> any time soon, that's for sure. Uh, so if you are going to London, and I don't know if the museums are free again. I know that, that at one time, when th as soon as Thatcher came in, of course, she made huge fees compulsory in museums because that was Thatcher. Let's not give anything to the people. Let's keep it all for um, capitalists. And um, so... Anyway, it changed at that point. But I believe at some point, I think under Blair, they became... I'm not sure, though, because I, uh, I haven't been to London for a long time. But I believe under Blair, they came became free again. And if that is the case, well, definitely go there. And even if they're not free, they're probably worth the admission price. Right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. This is the first game, uh, hard-level game of the week from The Guardian. I won't bother to explain the rules. You should know the rules of Sudoku by now. I'm just going to start with the threes blocking down and up here and putting a three into that square there. I did see whilst chatting to you the seven and four and the seven and four pattern like that, a la New York Times. So it does mean we know that seven and four uh, is in those squares there. I'm not sure we need that, but I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that later because there are various other easy things that I spotted uh, that might be more immediate. Uh, the eight's blocking down like this and across here. That's going to give me the eight there. The twos going up there. This is all stuff that I spotted whilst chatting about museums. Multitasking, I guess I am this morning. Um, two blocking across here and up here. So that means two is in one of these two squares. Blocking back that way. Two blocking down there. There's a two. Two going down this way. Two going across here. And from the top down. Like trickle down. <laughs> trickle down Sudoku. Uh, what else is missing? Um, oh, I hear the uh, megaphone sounds of um, 
the buying old electrical equipment guy. Four goes here. Now, as I said, this was four and seven, so I may as well put the four in there and the seven in there right away. Uh, and let's come back and finish this off here, which is with the six. Uh, oh, I've just realized that's, I've just clicked on that, I've just put that six in, I've just realized again that's the first time a six has appeared, how about that? Uh, apparently we didn't have six before, okay, but now pretty easy to spot six and nine blocking across here, that's going to give us six and nine in those squares there. So we will be left here with three and five, which we could have seen from up here anyway. Uh, and so over here we're going to be having one and two. Mm. I'm sure there are some other easy things. Oh yeah, this is nine, right? So nine blocks down here and nine blocks across here and across here. So that's going to give us nine in that square. One blocks down here and one blocks across here. So one in one of these two squares blocking upwards, one blocking up there. There's a one. One across here, one up here and one up here means that's the digit one. Have a look around. So this is one and four. We've got one and four blocking down here, one and four blocking down here. So that's a one and a four. Uh, what? How does that help us? Uh, one and four, so we're looking for three, five, six in the remaining white squares. Three, five, and six. No, I'm not sure. How about up here? We know that's one and four down there. What have we got up here? We're looking for three, five, and six again. All right, I'm going to get to get a, new, a few more sixes just yet. Um, right, what was I doing? I was going through the digits. Seven up here and across there means we can find a seven in that square. Nine going up to the top. There we go with the nine. Uh, right, so
Oh, there we go. Five across here and up there. Somehow I missed that one. Five is in that square. Now this is five and seven, I can see. Five and seven blocking down here. Five and seven blocking down here. So we have five and seven in those squares, leaving us with four and six in these squares. The four blocks down here, there's the four. And of course, there was just one space anyway to finish up there. 6 and 8 block up here, that's going to put 6 and 8 into those squares and that will give us room to put a 4 there. Five blocks across here and across here, that means this is going to be a 5. Three blocks across here, there's our 3 then and 6 will finish this block. Six blocks back that way, there's our 6, the missing number here is an 8. Uh, we need an 8 at the end of this row as well, and then the 8 blocks down here and down here and across there, giving us an 8 in that square. Uh, we've, oh yeah, 8 is finished, that is the last 8. Okay, let's have a look and see what's missing from over here. We're looking for a 1, we're looking for a 2, and we are looking for a 9. 1, 2, 9. Uh, I've got two and a nine but that's all down here we're looking for three four um three four six and we have three four here so that is the six now we have six blocking this square we need a six across here remember we had six and nine there so six can't go here so must be here that will be our nine this will be our nine here 9 blocking up here, up here, and across there means that we can place a 9 in that square. In fact, that's the final 9 as well. Uh, and now, if you remember, we had the 2 blocking up here, 2 across there, so that gives us the 2. And 1 was what we needed to finish that bit of section there. Down here, we're looking for uh, 5, I think it is. Okay, now 5 blocking across here puts 5 into that square. 5 this way, that way, and down here will give us 5 in that square. We still need a 7 to go here. And then the 7's block across to the end, please, mouse. Okay, there we go, 7 there. 7 up here and 7 across there means that's our 7. 7, 8, 9 finished. Um... Now our 5 blocks up here, so we'll put our 5 there. 5 finished now, 3 goes here, 3 blocking down here and down here will mean that is our 3. Last number to get in this column um, is 6. And this was 1 and 4, wasn't it? I remembered now, 4 blocking here, so 4 goes there, 1 goes there. Numbers at the end, what do we need? 1 goes here and... Um, 1 and 3 goes here. Do we have any 1s or 3s? No, we don't. Oh, I've just realised, look, we've got one missing number at the end of that, s that row there, so we'd better put in the missing 6. And then we can say 6 down here, and 6 across here will give us a 6 in that square. And the last number to place up here is a 4. 4 going up there, giving us 4 in that square. Missing number here is a 3. And now the 3 blocks down, so there's a 3 and there's a 1. 1 going up here gives us a 1 there, and we can finish today's game with a 2. So not too tricky a game, but at least uh, just stop me for a few seconds uh, while I looked around and found uh, the easier numbers. Right, okay, that's it. Uh, see you around. Bye-bye.